What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna be doing a short little video series on the three pitcher plant bogs located in West Virginia and kind of elaborating on the story of how those pitcher plants got there. And right now, we're at the first one, Cranesville Swamp, which is right over the border of Maryland in West Virginia. And here we are trying to find Drosera rotundifolia, Drosera filiformis, I've been told this year. I've been here in the past and haven't seen it. And Drosera intermedia, the spoon leaf sundew. I've seen uh, that one and the round leaf sundew before here, as well as Saracenia purpurea or the purple pitcher plant. But I have not seen Drosera filiformis. So today I would like to see that one along with the other three. So we're gonna get hiking down to the boggy area and I'll meet up with you then. already saw some round leaf sundews and a ton of Saracenia purpurea, the purple pitcher plant. They're pretty cool. For the pitcher plant, the insects will try to eat the nectar that's on the rim of that tube or the pitcher or trap and it kind of makes them woozy and drunk feeling and then they fall in and the sides are coated on the inside with little tiny microscopic hairs that are downward facing so the bugs have no chance of gripping the side and getting out and then they drown in the water that the pitcher plant has added uh, digestive enzymes to so that it can digest the bugs and get the nitrogen that it needs from them and then the sundew is sticky and the dew on the leaves smells good to the insects they land on it and if they're small enough, they won't be able to get off. And then that very liquid that you see actually digests the bug right on the leaf. And that's how they get their nitrogen. Um, the other two species of sundew that I mentioned earlier do the same exact thing as the round leaf sundew that we already saw. So I'm gonna go to this open area here and then we're gonna film some more plants. Some big clump of Drosera intermedia or the spoon leaf sundew. Those plants are awesome because they grow like in the water, like right in the peat underneath the moss, which is like all the decayed matter from the bog underneath in the water. And that's what the plants grow in. It's super acidic, but the Drosera intermedia prefers a more wet environment 
than Drosera rotundifolia. So you find the round leaf sundew kind of on the tops of the tufts of moss and the mounds of moss where it's a little bit drier but still wet. And then you find Drosera intermedia frequently growing right in the water, in the bog. And I think that's pretty cool. Well, I think that was a pretty solid video showing most of what Cranesville Swamp has to offer, plant-wise at least. And you got to see Drosera rotundifolia, Drosera intermedia, and Saracenia purpurea, the round leaf sundew, spoon leaf sundew, and the purple pitch plant. We didn't see the thread leaf sundew, Drosera filiformis. And I believe it may just not live here. I heard uh, through word of mouth that it may actually be here, but I don't think it actually is. Uh, I might have just missed it though, because it can kind of live in little patches, um, isolated in bogs. So who knows? But got to see three different species of carnivorous plant today. So that was pretty sweet. As always, thank you for watching. Peace.